All right, let me get to some business. I didn't expect to... I didn't expect this at all. Um, I did... Uh, I told you before that, um, you know, when I, when I got, when I got the, um, you know, the estate money from my dad, I did put aside a small amount just for the holidays. I'm actually waiting for, um, I was actually waiting for Sugarbell to come out with the, um, the pumpkin, but I don't know. She still hasn't said anything. It came out November 1st last year. So, um, that didn't come out. But anyway, um, since I did put aside a little bit, I got a couple of things. First, this, this, um, this was buy one, get one free. So I just had to get this. Um, I wanted it. I've been eyeing this for a long time, but these are like $8 and I just didn't feel like spending that. Um, this is, a, it says five minute color, but the, the more intense the color, you have to leave it in. It said leave it in up to 20 minutes. It's, it's a, it's a colorizer conditioning, color toning conditioner. And, um, and then you wash it out. So it was buy one, get one free. And I, I wish I could have gotten the pink too. But um, I decided to just go with the purple and the blue. And so um, I think I'm going to try that uh, soon over the holidays. Then uh, I saw the, uh, Black Radiance announced this. I only have one store. Usually wherever you have uh, a neighborhood with women of color... That's where they're going to sell Black Radiance. And surprisingly, my neighborhood has one store um, that that sells Black Radiance. And actually, it's near the, the hospital that I go to. So they announced that they were releasing this. And I was like, hmm, do I like that? Do I not like that? I did notice from the picture, usually pictures don't really pick up shimmer too well. I was like, you know, but those shimmers look pretty nice. I went to the store. They had just put it out. And these are really pretty, really, really pretty shimmer. It's called the, the Diva Glam. The Diva Glam Deluxe Eye Set. And I just took it out. It, it came with the, that little white. I just threw it out. Those little white thingies. It's supposed to absorb moisture. Not sure why. But so it, you open it up. And then this is my first time taking And then you take it out. And it comes with a primer, two mascaras, and an eyeliner, and, and a, a, a brush, but I'm pretty sure the brush is going to be like cheap quality. But when I saw it, I just loved the shimmer. It's got gold, it's got like a black and gold, maybe an olive color, a peach, a silver, and a pink loaded with shimmer, so that really got my attention. Um, it looks like this orangey color. And this burgundy color have a little less shimmer. The purple one has like the least amount of shimmer. Um, and then I think the brown, the brown, it looks like the brown is the only matte color. So I was like, I really like that. So um, I, I got it. You know, plus you get, I get my discount at Walgreens. That's the palette. I don't know if, if you can tell, but it's, it's really shimmery. And that is what got my attention. I'm usually only interested in the black radiant shadows if they mimic the wet and wild ones. But this really got my attention. I thought that was really pretty. So I got that. These, I think, I think they're going for $10, I think. And you can also order from the website. I want to talk to you about highlight the highlighters. I remember I told you they were so big. And it's really hard to get a brush to get all three colors. Well, the Mrs. Doll told me uh, that, um, I don't know how new it is because I think I might have seen it in my recent trips to Target, but they have the Ultimate Kabuki brush. Supposedly it's new and supposedly it's online only, but I spotted it at my um, Target and, and it, I read the description first because I know powder brushes are supposed to be really soft and that doesn't work. It's not picking up the color. It said it was a dense brush when I looked up online. So I went and got it. This is a little bit, I, f I find it a little pricey for $10, but it is a huge brush. And it's it's what I've been looking for. Um, and so I did try it on, on um, the Forever 21 and the Wet n Wild Unicorn Highlighter, the Rainbow Highlighters, and it is a little too soft. So like, let's say you're just swiping it like to just swipe it, it's really not picking up color. Um, I'm going to, I'll try with this one. It's really not picking. Do you see, you don't see nothing. 
it just melds into one like just one regular highlighter but what i did find is if you press it in just press it in there like really press it in there then it picks up color and then you have to do this now i don't know if you could tell not you have if you really the more you have to do this a few more times you have, I noticed the swatching things in your hand is not the same way it's going to apply on your face. So I was, I just got this last night and it swatches much better if you really dig in and then like rub it back and forth and then do that. Like I did, I did it two times and I got, then it was pigmented. So it's not like it's not pigmented. It's just that I think you just need a little bit denser brush than this. And, and it worked. It, it took me two tries, but it worked. The only thing I didn't like about it is that the purple didn't show up that well. It's just too small to really get anything out of it. It's the only thing I don't like about it. I'm going to do it like on the other side now. Same thing with this. You swipe it across. It's you got to swipe it twice to get anything. And then you see it just looks like a regular highlighter. So it's best if you like, you gotta really dig in there and rub it, like really, really rub it. See, then you get color and then you get something. But see, the one about the wet and wild is what I keep saying, it's more wearable. It's got the gold and it's a little bit softer and it's more wearable. So I just wanted to give you the heads up um, it, because even getting this for ten dollars it's it's reasonable compared to like 40 50 60 dollars to get the big brushes out there for these types of um these types of highlighters it's and see it's like a i call this a, a rectangular oval type of color a type of a <laughs> shape and that's what you need some sort of a rectangular oval type or rectangular type of brush to um for this to work so yes yeah it's a little you just you can pick up the subtleness of the rainbow it's much more wearable the uh, the wet and wild one it's got a lot of gold i think it's because of all that gold undertone so <laughs> last the pieds of the stones no, i don't know how to speak i know i sound like an idiot but anyway the best for last i saved again i said that i had saved some some money not a lot just a little because most of it went towards my furniture that i needed at bills um i got this and again i'm see i have some money put aside for um for sugar pill but this is the the new the new wet and wild holiday remember they did the fergies and then for two years in a row they did the exact same fergie collection this is what why i got it now and didn't wait when they first started doing this it's i think it's walgreens exclusive it, it it goes half price on thanksgiving day i guess they don't get a lot of business and they're trying to get people to come so it was half it, half price three years ago it's half price two years ago it's half price last year there was no half price sale so i didn't want to chance it this is not i'm telling you, the walgreens don't have any of the Holiday collections. Mike Walgreens got a bunch of stuff up there. They even got Mark Wynn nail the nail dryer, but they none of the Walgreens had this except the one by my son's doctor. And I had to go there this week, and I grabbed it. And I like it better than the Fergie ones. I think. Look at that. Look at that. It comes with on each corner. I don't know if you can see. Comes with an eyeliner, brown, black. And then it comes with one dual ended brush. It, these brushes are crap. They break easily. They don't work that good. But And it comes with the mirrors. I'm, I think the Fergies did too. But I don't know why. I like this much better than the Fergie ones of the past. And I don't know why. Maybe it's the shape. Maybe it's the style. Um, I think the Fergie ones came with like cream glitters and lipsticks too. It might have came with some blushes. This looks like it's, I don't know if these, these look like right here. That's probably highlighting color for your eyes and your cheeks. You notice that's the biggest one there. Um, so I don't know. I think it's because it's mostly shadows. It's cute. It comes in a little book form. It's called the beauty book. 
Um, and I've only seen it at one Walgreens so far. I still have not seen that holiday collection, though. Lip Drama says she heard that some Walgreens have gotten it in. But um, my daughter hasn't gotten it in New York. And uh, he, we don't have none. She's not here yet anyway. Um, of that holiday collection of the... Um, Sequels and Stardust, but here's your holiday lookbook. This was this they put this with their um, you know where they keep all their holiday stuff up on the very very top of the shelves where they have all the holiday sets. Um, if you it this is pricey. This is thirty dollars. I did get a discount, so it was like five dollars off. Um, if they if, maybe if last year they were consistent with the half price sale. I probably would have waited to see if mine got it. These usually don't go because $30 is pricey. You are getting a lot though. But again, like I said, I had to put aside a little bit of money. So I got, and um, yeah, so I don't know if you want to wait. A lot of people don't buy it because it's pricey and they do wait. If you are lucky, I one year, I, the first year I was really lucky. Um, by Christmas, they go down to 75% off. I got my first Fergie set for $7.50. My second one was like 12 because it was half price plus my discount. I didn't want to take the chance this year. I said, you know, what the heck? I did put aside a little bit of money and I'm going to get it, you know? So, so anyway, um, so yeah, so, so I just wanted to show you that, um, I haven't really like swatched anything. Um, I, cause going back and forth to school takes up so much of my time. And in between I was trying to get um other stuff done that needed to get done next week i have appointments again i have three three appointments in one day i have to get up early to get my blood work right after the blood work in the same building i have i'm finally seeing my gy i'm going to talk to her and then in the afternoon i'm going to see my urologist because they never got that stone uh results back so that that really upsets me because that should have been done instead of me having to do that whole nasty process um, so I'm going to talk to him about that. And I really haven't been feeling good. I was walking. I told you, uh, not last week, but the week before, or was it? Yeah. Early last week, I think I was walking a lot, just enjoying the weather. And then I get, I got, I, I was in severe pain again. Uh, it's, it gradually built up to this week. I thought I was going to have to go back on the pain pills. I'm trying to stay away from that. And I almost did because I was up to two in the morning in pain. And then I finally fell asleep. Um, the pain seems to have subsided and they told me you just cannot be active while those things are in you. So I want to talk to them about it. Is it really necessary to keep it in till I really don't see the necessity of that. But anyway, I am going to be at the doctor's three, three in one day. And then Friday I have to see the surgeon, uh, the uro urological surgeon. And then the following week I uh, might be going, driving up with my mom to house. I don't know. Just depends on how she feels, how I feel. And then the following week is our own vacation. So uh, we're going to be visiting the historical sites of Galveston, which is really cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to that um, for, you know, because my son needs it for extra credit for history. Um, so I won't be seeing you again. And then the following week after that is supposedly my uh, uh, shockwave. I don't know if they call that lithotripsy, but because um, I could confuse. But um, that means, oh, oh, so I, what I'm going to do, hopefully is Halloween morning. I'm going to get up early. Um, I'll do my video early um, because I have to leave here by 12 so that I can drive my son to school and I'll be in, uh, you know, all my, my makeup. <laughs> Juju's going to be a bat and Buddy's going to be a baby. <laughs> I was trying to find a, like little preemie bonnets and little preemie di uh, like diaper holders. Um, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I was just looking around to the cheapy, like the cheapest place I went to the doll store, got a bib, got a pacifier for him, and then um, I, I found that five below, I found a bat costume uh, for dogs, so just the wings. So, <laughs> so I will see you, um, I will see you the 31st, um, and then I will, probably won't see you again until, uh, till like a month, so like a whole month after that. So anyway, just, you know, give me your prayers for, you know, so that I can get through these things uh, that I'm going to be going through, uh, these uh, procedures and whatnot. Um, and uh, so just keep me in your prayers for that. And um, so I will see you Halloween morning, hopefully. <laughs> 
um, and then probably not again until like the maybe the I don't know the 14th or the 16th of November so anyway uh, take care uh, love you all Mwah.